All right. So the color change photo for you guys, the finish of the color change. Now, again, we changed a lot of colors on this and from a distance, it looks good. Close up again, there's more detail than there should be in a 30 by 40. If you guys buy this one, it's a fan sells painting, but if you guys buy this, it's not going to look anything like this because we changed what? Six colors. So look at this gorgeous wolf. That looks like real wolf colors, doesn't it? I wish I had two of these so I could show you what it looked like with the colors that were in it previously. But to me, this looks like a real wolf. At a distance, anyway. Again, because it is a smaller painting, when you bring it up, it gets a little more hard to read, a little more patchy. But isn't that a pretty wolf from a distance? And again, the photo is here. As you can see, it does have like a blue-gray fur instead of a brown fur. So we changed that blue-gray fur to this brown-gray fur. Um, you can see some here. That is the blue that were still there. But we changed out uh, purplish colors. We changed out blue colors and pink colors. This was going to be like some sort of pink. Like I said, I wish I had one of these normally finished for you to see, but we only got the one as a PR package, and we changed the colors to make it look nice. My mom really, really liked the way this turned out with the color changes. She thinks it looks almost identical to one of the wools she has as wallpaper on her phone. So, what do you guys think of that? That's what we did with our color change. Again, because it's a smaller canvas, definitely better viewed at a distance. But I also think from a distance it looks gorgeous. Close up, it definitely leaves something to be desired. But you guys know me in paintings. So I think this is what it should look like. I think these are the right colors for it. Its ear here kind of does get lost in the background a bit. Same with over here. But again, that could be said true if you were to take a picture of a wolf standing in front of a forest like this. So it's a more realistic photo, whereas if it was a coloring book style photo or anything else, you'd have a nice black line here separating it. And with the diamond painting, you could put a spot it like every few drills black line to separate the ear out. You just kind of, you know, put a few randomly like that. You could... But again, the fact that it fades into the background is what you'd expect from a more realistic photo. And we kind of went more realism with all of our color changes and everything else. So he had 21 colors. And here he is. I don't have the drip. And then the puppy gets psycho. <laughs> Holy shit, does she get psycho? I don't have the drills or the drill changes to show you, but if you go back and watch the uh, color changing video, you can see what colors used to be in here and what colors are now in here. So you maybe can get an idea on what it should have looked like versus what we made it look like. Some color changes, I think, are a little bit more necessary, whereas others, maybe this would have looked okay with the other colors. <laughs> Sorry, the dog went crazy. Um, maybe it would look better with, you know, some of them it's like necessary. Like you definitely don't want this color in your painting. Whereas other ones like this one, maybe we went overboard and changed it to be a realistic wolf when it was never meant to be a realistic wolf. But either way, the end result is a really pretty wolf. So hopefully you guys like this. Sorry about... Sorry about our crazy little lady. I don't know what happened there. She just went psycho and was bolting on the couch, off the couch, up and down the hallway and into the bedroom. Like, she was being crazy. Yes, you were, weren't you? Bye-bye, people. Have a nice day, night, and morning. <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoy this, and hopefully you guys have a nice day, night, morning. Hopefully you guys get some time to relax and... Work on your paintings if that's what you want to do. Watch some TV, read some books, whatever you can do.